refresh my memory. A brand new chanter read slash weird F equals a pinch to correct. The sound man slash band instructor has given everyone strict orders to not adjust anything. So this is a question about a collapsing F. So sometimes on the bagpipe chanter, we hear a collapsing F sound where the F does not sound a true note. It actually sounds about a semitone lower, which is obviously majorly problematic if you're in a band and you have a collapsing F. Um, and then this person says, I think all you have to do is pinch it and that corrects it. But the sound man has told me I'm not allowed to do anything to, to my read. So what should I do? Okay. So uh, the question there is, um, I got distracted by the audio. <laughs> What's collapsing the F. Collapsing, collapsing F. F. Pinching, right. Um, so no, pinching is not going to help that. A collapsing F, you need a new read. That's the best solution. Now, in a band, that can be a little hard to get your sound man to do that. But you should probably, in this case, also follow his directions because if it sounds terrible, you're going to get a new read too. So right. let it be and, uh, you know, play it for a little bit. There's not much we can really do for a collapsing F. And in fact, pinching probably would cause more of a collapsing F than it would ever solve. Yeah, pinching may have caused it in the first place. Yeah. So um, no, pinching bad always and especially with a collapsing F. Cool. Yeah. So, and just to add on to what Carl said, so a collapsing F is caused by uh, the, the chanter read uh, losing structural, like, uh, like losing its structure, let's say. That's what a, a collapsing F is caused by. So, so like if you just picture a reed, it's kind of rigid, things are happening, but like if like let's maybe part of the cane caves in or something, suddenly it's lost that structure and the way that vibrates is sort of changed forever, right? And then, uh, and then the F starts to go all crazy on you. So like you can pinch it, um, and that, that can sometimes help temporarily, kind of, although the, all the other notes would be uh, different in tuning as soon as you give it a big pinch. So you, it might save your F, but, you know, basically a, a collapsing F means your reed is dead. Um, sometimes excess moisture in the reed causes the F to collapse. But what that's really doing is, you know, the excess moisture, right, it'll make the blades a lot more flexible. So the structure will tend to give out. Right, that makes sense. Uh, but it's also an indication that your read is dead, right? Like, or it's on its ex a very, very last legs. So as soon as you hear any hint of a collapsing F, the read's gotta go in the bin. See ya. Because even if you can temporarily fix it, it's gonna rear its ugly head again, almost always at inopportune moments. Okay? Right. So uh, your sound guy is right, okay? You shouldn't be licking and pinching and flicking your reed. Uh, and then meanwhile, back at the ranch, you shouldn't have a reed with a collapsing F anyway. Uh, and if you do, it's got to go and be replaced. Keep in mind that some chanter reed combos are prone to collapsing Fs. You know, like, like a, a, and, and this isn't, like Gilmore is an amazing reed, but just like in the old days, Gilmore reed in my nail chanter for whatever reason. Uh, just, I always had collapsing F issues. So like some, some of it has to do with, again, the physics of the shape of the chanter and the exact things. And then, you know, and then another example is one of the reasons the G1 chanter is so great is that it hardly ever seems to manifest these issues. The other issue that's similar to the collapsing F is like in the old days, the McCallum chanter with Ross reads, like one out of every five reads just had a wicked flat C for some reason. And it was just kind of like, get, just got to kind of chuck it out and it's not going to work. So, you know, all that stuff comes out to say you need a new read. There you go. And Andrea sort of adds to that. Should some, someone once told me that uh, we could fix that collapsing F by trimming a little bit off the end of the read. Yeah, maybe we'll make it sharper, but uh, it's just, is it going to be any good after that? Mm -hmm. And why? The thing is, so, like, yeah, try it, but just assume the read's dead already. It's an opportunity cost yeah. issue, right? So uh, I, I think it's possible to fix that. I just kind of feel like, and I know, I know this sounds kind of dickish, but like, I kind of feel like a grown-up piper is going to skip that and just get a new read. 
uh, because the opportunity costs, right? Like, okay, now I'm going to take the time to trim the thing off my read. And now I'm going to put the read back in and now I'm going to put a whole bunch more hours trying to get it to work. Yeah. Like, like I'm going to spend a whole lot more hours, like getting the channel dialed in again. And then what tends to happen after a few more hours of playing and jiggling around with the read is, Oh, there's a collapse of F again. Yeah. Right. And meanwhile, we could have been two to three hours in That's to right. breaking in a brand new, awesome read. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, and a new yeah, read costs 20 bucks, right? A new read costs 20 bucks. So, you know, we, what we really need to do is just, let's say, spend the 20 bucks, uh, and start breaking in that new read uh, because we know that takes a bit of time.